Time now is 814. Welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. Just moments ago, we showed you this video of the Herpetological Society. Look at this. These guys wrangled this monitor lizard uh, on the freeway. This is the Loop 101 in North Phoenix near uh, Cave Creek. This guy made his way out onto the freeway. And look, he's trying to bite these guys. They managed to get a hold of him and put him in that box. And really for their safety, for driver safety, and really for the animal safety as well, they managed to wrangle this guy and get him off the freeway. And guess what? Right here on Good Morning Arizona, those two gentlemen right there, they're joining us live right now on the air. Let me introduce you to Casey Bros and Alex Ro uh, Roskowski. And uh, Alex, <laughs> for, forgive me if I, uh, if I butchered your last name, but gosh, you guys, we have been applauding you guys uh, this morning since we watched that video. Thank I, you. You know what? I want to know what it was. <laughs> you guys shaking a little bit yourself, or is this everyday, uh, oh, everyday yeah. business for you guys? Yeah. Well, this is definitely part of it. We rescue reptiles every single day, but one on the 101, a Nile monitor walking down the 101, that's the first one that's for me. That's the first one for me, too. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we were uh, battling with time a little bit, too, because we were both starting to get a little hot. Yeah. Uh, and he was getting worn out, the lizard. Um, so we were trying to make sure that we could get him before he uh, cooked in that little um, culvert. That yeah, absolutely, and that's our biggest thing is, yeah, mm -hmm. for the safety of that animal, you know, it looked a little intense, and it was, mm -hmm. but for the safety of that animal and us, it was basically get him out, get him in the box, and we need to get him out of here and cool down in the vehicle. Uh. But also the drivers on the 101, yes. because if that monitor lizard was to bolt out into traffic, who knows what could have happened. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're not kidding. So, yeah, yeah. A, a very a seri drilling. very serious safety issue for, for drivers on the Loop 101. You know what? Can you walk us through the morning? So you get the call this morning. You get out to the freeway. What's the first thing the troopers say to you? <laughs> yeah, so um, I got called by my manager at Debbie at 6.30 a.m. I was just waking up, and she's like, yeah, um, there's a monitor on the, on the 101. Is there any <laughs> way that you can go help them out. I'm like, I, I guess so. Sure, and I jumped out of bed and I got ready as fast as I could and drove down there. We got to the scene. Um, you know, the officer kind of took us over to uh, where there's a storm grate. Um, we weren't sure if the storm grate could even be removed. And then uh, kind of there was this small kind of grate that you could see all the way down the culvert. And we tracked the monitor all the way to the dead end there. And then Casey started kind of poking him from the back to get him closer and closer to the edge of the culvert where we could kind of see him in the storm drain. Um, he wouldn't come all the way out because he was starting to get more and more sp suspicious of us. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, but then we kind of were able to put one of the catch poles down in there and kind of get his arm through so that he couldn't slip out. Um, the first time we got a hold of him, he actually backed out, and their heads are so narrow that he was able to kind of just slip out of that catch pole. So I had to get his front arm through. Casey was able to kind of shove him down as he kind of wore out. He got his arm through, and then we cinched it up around his waist and his upper arm. And then as you saw, Casey was I just, the wrangler. Literally at that point, it's you gotta go. Yeah. Commit or get bit is what we say at the sanctuary. <laughs> I grabbed that animal by the tail at the most unbitey end. Yes. And then it was essentially getting him from not biting me. Thankfully, Alex was able to pin him very firmly. Yeah. I know it looked a little intense, but that animal's fine. They can yeah. handle these things. Pinned him, I grabbed him by the back of the neck. We put him in the box. Done and done. We've, yeah. we've done our job. Yeah. So, and then got the high five at the yeah. end. Yes, we was got the him best. out of there. You know, you know Casey, we yes. 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 are <laughs> not. <laughs> yes, you deserve many high fives. Man. You know, Casey, we watched. Once you finally got him out, he was really straining his neck to try to get around to bite you. Did you realize that? And, and yes. what were you thinking, you know, as you were trying to get a hold of his neck? Uh, so at the sanctuary, we actually have Nile monitors, so I have thorough training on these animals. And they're actually one of the few lizards that will actively pursue you. Now, it's just out of defense. This animal's not trying to hurt me. I got it by the tail, and it's going to swing around. So it was essentially just keep its gravity from coming up and grabbing me. So Alex, thankfully, being a professional <laughs> wrangler for these animals, we were able to just kind of knock it down, and then he saw his chance, boom, nailed it. Yeah. So, I mean, we work with 12-foot crocodiles, yeah. so... <laughs> So, oh, wow, well, yeah. Uh, died, yeah. <laughs> all in a day's work for you guys. Many, yeah. we're, we're so but grateful that. Uh, I, I mean, if you guys can still hear us, sorry, we just lost you on the microphone, but that's just a normal day at the sanctuary. Yeah. We're <laughs> awesome at handling these animals, yep. and that's just because we've been doing it for so long. Do it every day, every rescuing day. reptiles. You got it. Yeah, well, we are grateful that there are folks like you who love these animals, who know them, uh, and, and can keep the rest of us safe. Bravo, gentlemen, and all in a day's work. Thank